So you repaired your Lawler mixing valve, either a thermostat replacement or a piston and liner replacement, but your outlet temperature isn't quite the temperature that you want. So what we're gonna go through now is how you set the mixing valve in order to get the proper outlet temperature on your system. So first, we're gonna to wanna to turn off the recirc pump because we don't want that recirc flow to influence any of the incoming water. And then we also need to create a demand on the system that is greater than the minimum flow rate of the valve. And this valve is an 802 mixing valve, so our flow rate out of the system needs to be two GPM or greater. Once you have that, you will take a flat-headed screwdriver and remove the tamper-resistant screw that is on the top of the valve. And inside this bonnet, there is a 532nd set screw. So you will take your 532nd Allen key, and what I would suggest doing is taking this Allen key and turning it all the way down into a full cold position until you feel a click or hear a click. And we are at that position now. Once you get to that bottom position, we are going to now back out the set screw to get it to the set temperature that we desire. This may take several turns, but just keep watching your outlet thermometer till you get to the temperature that you want. And you may have to fine tune it to get it exactly where you want. So now we're at 110 degrees. That is our desired outlet temperature you have now set the mixing valve to the system. And at that point, you can turn off your outlet flow rate out to the facility and turn your recirculation pump back on. Thanks for watching this video.